Speaking of women and, and speaking of feminists, we need to talk about, I guess, what's the women issue in, in politics. You're obviously a woman and you're in politics. And there is a big feminist activist group that are all about screaming about misogyny in the workplace. And we saw it, we've seen it in politics, a big push. Yeah. Don't be mean to the women politicians. They're all the moderate liberal women after the liberal spill were complaining that the big bad conservative men were being mean to them and bullying them. You are, forgive me for using the B word, the most bullied politician, male or female, ever in the history of Australian politics. But where's the feminist screaming your name? Where's the feminist? Why are there no feminists defending you? I don't want to near me anyway. <laughs> keep away from me. I can, I can look after myself. And I tell you what, politics, yes, it can get hot in the kitchen. If you can't stand the heat, don't get in it. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know, um, you should be there on your merits. And a lot of these things, you know, pushing women into these positions as candidates and then you've got to be a female, be a minister, well, how, how pathetic that is. But also, how do these women feel? Did you really get there because your ability mm -hmm. and your merits to have, be a minister? Can you do the job? Some of them can't. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're absolutely hopeless, some of them there. Mm. But, you know, at the end of the day... These people are, are in control of portfolios, portfolios that are actually um, making decisions and legislation for the rest of the country, and they're not up to it. Mm. Well, so you're putting people in positions, and every other position out there, whether you're directors on boards or head of companies or whatever, if mm. you haven't got the best person for the job, are they really going to do the best thing for the shareholders or for the public or the consumers? Mm. And this is why I get so angry about putting people there. And the worst minister that I've seen is Linda Burney. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely hopeless. Yes, poor Linda. Absolutely hopeless. Yeah. I hope they don't give her the Governor-General's position now just to oh, move her sideways. I know they have to move her sideways, but I hope it's not that, and that's what I've heard. Mm, I've Absolutely, heard too. Absolutely hopeless. And there's been some other female um, members in there, ministers... Absolutely hopeless. Mm. And it is, it's so exposing as well in a field like politics because politics is, is so public. And look, don't you remember, you remember that, that liberal spill, the leadership spill in 2018, and how people like, women like Julie Bishop, and I think it was, I think Maurice Payne, I think it was her, came out and did interviews and said how mean all the men were to them oh. in trying to get the vote. And I just remember thinking oh, to myself, poor princess. poor princess, I thought, oh, you're dear. part of a faction and a generation of women who wanted to be treated by men the same as men. Well, guess what? Yeah. This is how men treat each other yeah. when the, the going gets yeah. tough. So I'm thinking, do they want equality and to be treated the same, or do they actually want special treatment? What do you think? I think they want special treatment mm -hmm. when it suits them. Yes. When it suits them, Daisy, mm -hmm. that's when they want special treatment. See, I'm no different, whatever I do. Even if I go to a function or go anywhere and I've got some of my staff of mine around me and I might have a debate with, with um, someone over an issue, my politics or whatever, mm. anyway, and um, I tell you what, if in my mind is I want to step in, I, say, I tell them, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> so I can answer my own questions. Don't take me out. They wouldn't do it to a male. No. And I'm quite happy to stand my own ground and defend myself, and mm. I do that wherever. But my, I don't get that very often, very rarely I ever have that. Um, the support is just amazing mm. how much I'm, you know, people pull me up and say, you know, congratulations, keep going, don't you get out of politics, no. we need you there to keep raising these issues. Mm. So it's really lovely. But, no, I'm, I, don't, um, I don't stand by these feminists. I'm a person, look... Um, <laughs> When I have a man um, will open up the door for me, and mm. I just hope, thank you. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. Dead, no. And, and you're a perfect gentleman, thank you. And it's polite to say that. You mm. know, men don't know where they stand these days. Mm. They don't know whether they should open up the door for a woman or treat them, you know, with that. It's not belittling, it's just they're showing some respect yeah. to you. 